I'm gonna set you down right here. Let's get to work. Okay, so we're putting the left chest on a t-shirt. Customer wants to know if they want it in the standard location. Super easy, we're gonna put it on the left side of this shirt, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna pre-treat this quickly and easily first. So, when pre-treating on a left chest, you can, uh, you can certainly use your pre-treat machine, you can use a roller, but I have another method I wanna show you guys. Something we've showed you before, this is a pre-treat in a can. Uh, by Abel Priest, that was really good. Allows for really vibrant prints. It's really easy to apply too. So if you have to do real simple type applications or quick applications, even full shirts if you wanted, just a few of them, this stuff works really well. So I'm gonna spray away from my printer. I don't wanna get any pre-treat dust on my print head. But I'm just gonna give it a nice spray in the area where my left chest is gonna go. Notice that, nice good coverage. I'm gonna take my brush and brush it out. Brushing it out does a couple things. One, it lays the fibers nice and flat, but two, it'll also help disperse the pre-treat a little bit. From here, I need to dry it. So I can put it on my heat press, I can hang it, I can run it through my conveyor dryer. You can even fold this up, put it in the corner, and go grab it in a week or two. Pre-treat shelf life is good for about three weeks, maybe two, three weeks, month. It depends. Certainly worth pre-treating in advance. So I'm gonna, uh, this shirt's already pre-pre-treated. I'm gonna set it on this Tuck Lock Platin here. Uh, it's an aftermarket Platin Tuck Lock. I'm sure you're familiar with them. They're really good. They have a lot of good applications. But in this case, we're gonna print on the left chest, right? So I'm gonna set my shirt on. I'm gonna load it like I normally do. So I'm gonna thread it. And when I thread a shirt, the trick is I go all the way forward. That helps me find the center. So I can tell my tag. I can see the center line on my Platin and even on my, uh, uh, my tray here. And then I know I pull my shirt back straight and then I check the seams of each side of the sleeve to make sure it's, it's uh, they're level or they're equal on either side. I put my collar right off the edge and then on the tuck lock all I have to do is tuck it in. So I tuck it in, it holds it tight. Tuck locks work really great for that. Aftermarket platen, but really high quality stuff. So now here's the trick folks. We know we're going to print on the left side of this shirt, right? But in Garment Creator, I got to show you where the placement is. So, notice in Garment Creator that this is our grid. This is our 14 by 16 grid. This is my left chest. This design is 3.3 inches wide. I'm bringing it about an inch down and all the way over to the right. Now remember, it's on the right here, but it's gonna be on the left here. So it's the opposite of what you see on Garment Creator is the opposite of what you see on your platen. It's because this, if you pick it up and turn it around, and put it, stick it in there, uh, kind of face it the, the same way you're looking on screen, it would be right. So just remember, there's, a, there's an inverse there. So from here, one inch down, all the way over to the right, that is our good general location for our left chest. I'm gonna print this on a dark color t-shirt because I'm not using black shirt. I wanna use black ink. So I'm gonna print black, dark color t-shirt. Typically, uh, the setting that I like is level five. Level four or three works really well, but I like level five. It only costs a few cents more. Um, and I'm just gonna print it. Just let it go. It works really quick, works really easy. We don't have to think too much about it. A lot of this is placement, making sure that you get placement right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my start button and let that thing rip. While that's doing that, let's talk about shirts. So we're printing, this is a Hanes Nano T. This was a Haynes Nano T that I pre-treated here. It's important to use a good quality shirt. This is something that I stress a lot, as you guys know. Uh, we like Cotton Heritage, we like Spectra, we like Haynes Nano, uh, we like um, Bella Canvas. Um, Next Level's really good. There's a lot of really good blanks out there. There's a lot of not so good blanks out there. So make sure you get ones that you know are gonna print well so you can just make sure you have good consistent prints every single time. So we finished our white, it's gonna, now it's gonna print the color. This only cost me a few cents to do. So while that's running, I'll just do a quick job estimator. If you don't have the job estimator tool set up, watch one of my previous videos on Garment Creator. It teaches you how to set up your cost estimator tool. So this one only costs about 30, uh, 30 cents to print. Um, super easy, quick left chest, full color, um, and full customization too. If you needed to put new names down below, somebody's name or something unique below this or around this, it wouldn't be hard to do. So as you can see, we have a perfect left chest right where we expected it to be. And if you look on the kind of the standard where left chest should be, 
it should be about down here and then you center here so if you can see that's pretty doggone close if we need to make any small adjustments we can easily do that just by shifting the design a little bit in garment creator but we're going to hit that spot pretty much right on uh, every single time if you follow those guides go all the way to the right down one inch and all the way to the right that'll put you in a pretty good spot so thanks for watching this digital monday we have more good stuff coming